Hey P, you coming over? Come here. All she wants to do is sit on my lap. Yeah, you don't need to show your eyes off. <laughs> You don't want the whole world to see your butt. I was over in a friend's house recently and I was having a coffee and she asked me if I wanted some of this instead of sugar. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. Usually I hate milky tea, milky coffee, milky anything. When I drink tea, it's black. When I drink coffee, it's black. You know, I'll give it a go just to see what it's like. And it's actually quite delicious. So when I use this, I don't need to, I don't use sugar. I usually have like black tea with one sugar. Whereas when I have this, I only recently picked this up, but when I have this, I just put like a little dribble in and it makes it sweet enough because I can't drink black coffee with no sugar because that's gross. I probably won't have it all the time because there is dairy in it and I try and avoid dairy as much as possible. So this will be a little treat every now and again. But I'm gonna get my hair done today, which as you can see is in need of doing. And I thought it would be a really good idea to make a video on it because it's my most asked question since the dawn of time. I get asked, what do I use in my hair? How do I do my hair? A million hair questions a day. So I feel like let's just make a video on how I do it. And then it's done. I've made hair videos before, but uh, I haven't actually made a video on like the process and getting it done. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope it answers some of your questions. Um, like realistically, it's doing like bleaching my hair is not a complicated process because my hair, even though my roots look dark now in comparison to this, um, my hair is quite light and it lifts really, really easy. I usually try and get it done like every eight to 10 weeks, but that doesn't always happen because I either can't get an appointment or just like my schedule clashes or I have to go somewhere. Yeah, and then usually what I do is like do the roots and then we put a toner in and that's really it. It's easy for me. It's not, this isn't an easy color for everybody to get, but I'm just one of the lucky people who have, who has light enough hair. I get so many DMs from people saying my hair washed out after a few days or my hair washed out after a week. That happens. It's a constant upkeep, this hair color, constantly. Um, like if I don't use purple shampoo for like two washes, it starts to go yellow and that's not a fun look. Um, I'll go through my shampoos as well with you, maybe when I get back or before I leave, I don't know. But I'll go through my shampoos, what I use and I think that's pretty much it on the hair front. So I have some new products that I'm just gonna try today because it's new foundation stuff that I've had for ages. And it's the Lifeful range from MAC. It's the C Plus Coral Grass Softening Lotion Spray. I just washed my face and moisturized it a few minutes ago, so I'm always down for a softening lotion. I'm gonna use my new favorite primer. This is the Ula Henriksen Banana Primer. Honestly, it's amazing. I've been using it for over a week now and it's so good. Even just by itself, sometimes I just put it on over my moisturizer. Because it just like really like blurs the imperfections on your skin. And it just makes everything right again. <laughs> so this is the Lifeful C Plus Coral Grass SPF 50 Quick Finish Cushion Compact. So let's see how this is. It comes with like a little sponge. I just tested some on my arm yesterday, but I didn't actually try it on my face. Actually has more coverage than I thought it was gonna have. It's actually not bad. I, think I usually do like more coverage, but this thing is kind of annoying. I don't know why it's annoying me, but it just feels like it's taking forever to put on. Maybe I'll try it with a brush just to see how it looks. Oh, it's actually kind of better with a brush. I kind of hate trying new products when I'm going somewhere. Like I know I'm only going to get my hair done, but I also hate trying new products in case it just looks like shit. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like far away it looks nice, but up close, Maybe it's because it's quite light and I feel really pale. I'm just gonna quickly do the rest of my makeup. Let's fast forward time. If only it was that easy. He's having cuddles. So 
let's go and get these roots sorted out. She does honestly such a good job. Uh, I forgot to mention the toner that she used was 1011 with like the teeniest little bit of purple. Um, but I don't get that one every time. I get a different toner every time. It depends on how my hair lifts and like the shade I'm looking for. So if you are someone going platinum blonde, then you know your hairdresser will have a recommendation on the right toner to use. Because as I said, I use a different one every time. So that is it. That's how I do, well, I don't do my hair, but that is how I get my hair done. For me, I'm just one of the lucky people in the sense that I can get this hair color very, very easily. Whereas a lot of people struggle with this hair color because it's so white and it's so light. Like my hair just lifts to that, as you can see, and then we tone it and it's the perfect shade. It's pretty easy for me to get it. Um, so that's my hair story. I'm gonna show you my shampoos and stuff that I use when I go home. I have to go collect some packages now, so I'm just gonna continue the vlog a little longer. Gonna go collect my packages and then go home for some lunch because I am hungry. You waiting for me to unbox? Yeah? Are you waiting? You want to see what's inside? <laughs> so I got home a little while ago. I made some lunch. And now I think I'm just going to open these boxes. Since as I picked them up on the vlog, I may as well open them on the vlog. You going to help me, G? You're very cute, Garfield. Aren't you? into that one. You're too big. Like, that's not gonna stop you, is it? Garfield. 
Okay, well, he's in that one. Let's see what's in this one. So this is how unboxing goes in this house. Double the trouble. But also double the fun. He will literally try and fit into this. No matter the size of anything, he will try. You're not gonna fit in that one. You used to when you were little, not anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. You tried it more than once. <laughs> So first thing is this Roden and Fields some skincare I know, but I don't know what type of skincare. Let's see. Oh, what is this? For firmer, younger looking skin. Yes, don't we all want that? But this seems weird. So this is a derma roller. Okay, so you use this roller after you've like cleansed and toned your face. Roll over each section four to ten times. So then it shows you how you roll. So this obviously like opens up your skin or something. And then you put the serum on and it helps it kind of get into it. Interesting. I also got some new lipsticks from Ofra. So these are their flexi sticks. It's a long lasting full color with creaminess, creaminess, flexibility and shine of a gloss that's never sticky. Interesting. I really like this color. Obviously, I like this color because it's nude. Mm, it's a bit peachy for what I like. It's still pretty. But for me, it's probably a little bit too peachy. We go on to the next, which is from BH Cosmetics. Their cashmere cream. I'm not sure what this is. I have a feeling it's lipsticks. And I am correct, they are lipsticks. I really like BH products. Like really, really like them. I think they have such great products. And the fact that like their price range is so affordable, it makes it even better. So that's pretty for summer. I'm not gonna swatch these right now because my battery's about to die, so I need to go charge it. But um, pretty, you'll see these somewhere on my YouTube, I would say. I got new wigs from Sway Hair. The so Sway Hair are now doing colored wigs. And this is one of their colors, which seems to be right up my alley. It's like a peachy, it looks more pink on camera, but it's more of a peachy pink, which could be fun. I'm gonna try these on. Not right now, because I'm way too tired for that. But over the weekend, I'm gonna try these on, see how they look, and I will report back. And I got another one. What's this color? Ooh, it's a blonde with a dark root. Interesting. So this is more of like a yellow blonde compared to what I'm used to. But I'm going to try it on and see. I usually don't go for blondes because I'm so used to my hair being so platinum. But this could be fun. Can I throw it for you? Good girl. Come over here. Good girl. I took a nap, which was really, really nice. And I forgot to charge my camera, so I'm just finishing the vlog on my phone. Sorry, it looks a little bit shitty quality. It is what it is. Quickly want to go through the shampoos because I don't want to forget to add that, considering it is a hair vlog. I want to make sure that I'm adding the right things into the vlog. Um, so I'm going to quickly do that before, before we end the vlog. So this is the Finola No Yellow Shampoo. It's great for getting rid of any gold or yellow in the hair. If you do leave it on for long, um, it does have a tendency to turn your hair a little bit purple, which usually I don't mind, but I know like that's not everyone's cup of tea. So if you do use it and it does go a little bit purple, just like give it a wash or two with regular shampoo and it will fade out. But I have this one, this is a thousand ml, so this is a big bottle I got from Amazon. I don't think it was that expensive, but worth it. But I don't use this one all too often anymore because I was finding that it was just really 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 drying my hair out and the fact that like with this type of hair 
you don't want to be adding anything that's going to dry it out anymore because it's already dry. So I kind of avoid this unless I have to, unless I notice my hair is getting quite yellow or, you know, I'll use it then. Once a week max, I will use this, but even probably not even that, like maybe once every two weeks. I recently started to use this one from Amika. This is a Bust Your Brass Cool Blonde Shampoo. I have to say though, the first time I used this, it wasn't my favorite. I felt like it didn't really make a difference. But I gave it another go and I've been really liking it. It's like, it does, it softly gets rid of any yellow from your hair. It's not as strong as this, but it still like softly does the job. And my hair is never dry with this. So I've been using this one a lot more than this one. Another thing I just want to quickly touch on is this leave-in hair treatment. It's from Avila. It's called Damage Remedy. So every time I wash my hair, after I wash and condition it, I put this in and then just dry my hair. It doesn't need to be rinsed out. And this is amazing. This has honestly saved my hair. Probably like a lot of last year, I just got really lazy with my hair and I would just dry it or I would just wash it and just let it air dry. And when I did that, then my hair was just getting so dry. And because it was getting so dry, it was just breaking off. And that's what happened to my hair. So I had to stop being so lazy and do my hair properly. So I got this and I've been using this like Every time I wash my hair, I put it in, and honestly, it's made such a difference. My sides are starting to grow back, um, like around the top here, kind of broke as well from being so dry. All that has grown back, or is growing back, should I say. And my hair, like, never breaks off anymore. It's never dry. It's, this is the most amazing product. So if you're somebody who has dry, over-processed hair, any of that, like, 100%, you need this in your life. But that's it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna wash my face, I wanna just take my makeup off and put lots of cream on, and I'm gonna finish off my YouTube video, because I have one going up tomorrow, and it's Friday, so I'm gonna chill the fuck out. I really enjoyed making this video, it was fun, it was easy, and I enjoyed a little bit of vlogging, so maybe I will do more in the future. Anyway, I hope you have a great one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. You don't want the vlog to end? Say no.